I know um, as I made my way up to the stage, some of you would have become concerned. Oh my God, Asian comedian. It's going to be banging on about being Asian the whole time. <laughs> Please do not worry. Only about 10% of my stuff is actually based on me being Asian. The other 90% is based on my issues with white people. <laughs> So we should be absolutely fine. We? <laughs> My name is Ramesh Ranganathan. It's a traditional Sri Lankan name. It does beg the question: Why was I given the middle name Jonathan? <laughs> That's honestly my middle name. I asked my parents why, and they told me in order to help you to avoid racial discrimination. <laughs> my dad said you can use it on job application forms. What, so they think I'm a white dude? My surname's got 26 syllables in it. <laughs> Plus, if that were to work, what the hell am I gonna tell them at the interview? <laughs> oh yeah, this is just a fantastic holiday tan from a recent trip to the sun. <laughs> You could avoid race issues by using a different name. I don't think Nelson Mandela would have spent 26 years in prison. I think he would have asked people to call him Rodney. I'm a little bit of a conspiracy theorist. Uh, one of the things that I believe, call centre workers, just pretending to be Indian because they can't be asked to help you. <laughs> But I'd much rather speak to one of them than I would do these charity call centre workers and their indifference. Hello sir, do you know that if you spend £35 you can enable a family to buy a goat which will enable them to support themselves for the rest of their lives. Really? How? <laughs> They're planning on opening the shittest zoo in the world. <laughs> don't understand the way charity and disasters make people behave. And Mr. T, a while ago, stopped wearing his gold chains. When he was asked why, he said it was a mark of respect for the victims of Hurricane Katrina. Now, imagine if you will, your house has been swept away, lost a member of your family. The relief that would go through your system knowing that Mr. T's not wearing his bloody jewellery anymore. It's a little bit random, isn't it? Do you think people from New Orleans are going to flick on the telly and go, oh no, Mr. T, don't wear all that heavy gold. If there was another flood, you'd sink, Mr. T. In which case, really, you should be wearing a pair of those inflatable armbands. Going, I pity the fool that doesn't have any buoyancy aids. <laughs> Are there any Barack Obama fans left? Because <laughs> otherwise this next bit's going to be awkward. I'm a massive Barack Obama fan. People say, isn't it amazing that a black man got elected President of the United States? Well, yes it is. But I think what's more amazing than that is the fact that somebody with that name got elected President of the United States. Barack Hussein <laughs> Obama don't actually think the Americans knew they are voting for a person. I think they thought they were voting for military action. <laughs> Barack Hussein Obama, hell yeah, Barack that Islamic son of a bitch, Barack his ass! Woo! <laughs> Barbara, who the hell is this black man on my television? <laughs> I was reading an article, broke down what Barack Obama did on an hour by hour basis. And it had 1 p.m. lunch, which is fairly normal, isn't it? 2 p.m. decide missile strikes on Pakistan. Now what the hell did that dude have for lunch? <laughs> to make that his post-lunch activity? I think it's fairly obvious that he had Indian. <laughs> then the waiter came up to him and said, hello sir, here's your Pashwari naan, here is your lamb rogan josh. 
Please, can we get those bosses out of Kashmir? <laughs> Are there any fans of Indian food in the audience? Yeah. Indian food a hell of a lot more popular than Barack Obama. <laughs> more readily available, I guess. That's <laughs> I'm a big fan of Indian food, but I don't know if you're aware, Asian man going to an Indian restaurant generates a certain level of expectation. My friends all think I should be some sort of curry Jedi. <laughs> Turn up at an Indian restaurant and they th say things like, Ramesh, what's in this saga loo then? I'll tell you what's in this saga, Lou, my friend. I'm Sri Lankan. This is an Indian. Why don't you tell me what you know about tortellini, you prick? <laughs> and then I can't even order what I want. Because of their level of expectation, I have to order the hottest bloody thing on the menu. <laughs> Plus, I'm a massively paranoid person. If you go to an Indian restaurant and then go on somewhere else, you're probably thinking, I hope nobody says that I smell of curry. If I go to an Indian restaurant and then go somewhere else and nobody says I smell of curry, I think, oh my God, they all think I smell like this all the time. Everybody's racist. Um, that is about me, actually. Um, one of the things I want to share with you, I just recently moved house uh, to Crawley. Does anybody know Crawley? Yeah, I moved to a particularly rough area of Crawley. It's called Crawley. <laughs> when I first moved in, the neighbours invited us round for dinner. They're being extremely friendly. It was absolutely fantastic. Until one day, they battered the shit out of me when they found out that I wasn't from Secret Millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> I've been the show. Thank you.